Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another bullet journal video. Today, I thought I would share with you guys what I have done to set up for the month of April. If you guys saw the video that I posted at the beginning of March, you guys will know that this is the third planning system that I have been in since the beginning of 2022. <laughs> but this is the most content and happy that I have felt. Basically, I went from an A6 Stology to a two notebook system of a Hobonichi Weeks and an A6 Tacho, and then I moved from that into this, which is an A5 size Leuchtturm 1917 with a square grid paper, and I have been loving this. I've been having a lot of fun with it. If you guys are here for like massive amounts of art and really pretty style, that is not me. You are at the wrong channel, unfortunately. <laughs> but if you guys are here for simplistic bullet journaling style, then I'm your girl. And I talked about this in the video that I posted, which by the way, will be linked down in the description box. But I did get my inspiration for setting up my bullet journal this way from Randy Medina here on YouTube slash randy.plans on Etsy. I'll link her channel down below, but all credit goes to her for the uh, overall feeling of my notebook. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. It is actually currently the 21st of March, but if my brain took any more information in about the month of April, it was going to melt. So I needed to set up my April pages because it was, it was just getting to be too much. So sorry about the unfinished March view, but I did think that it would be fun to show you guys what I have done for the month of March so far. So as you guys can see, I have my calendar spread here. This is going to stay basically the same for April. I have my bill due dates, holidays, anniversaries, birthdays, appointments, and also my YouTube uploads on this page. It's just like a one-stop shop for anything regarding the month of March. I also have my monthly dashboard here. I have a content section here, but I am getting rid of that for April. Um, it, I just found it to be redundant. I was basically just marking the days that I was gonna be uploading and which videos those were, but I have that on my monthly spread, so I don't really need it on here. However, I am gonna be keeping my sub count. I'd like to know how many subs I have on the first and the last day of each month. I'm also gonna be keeping my goals section. These are very surface level. It's fine if anybody reads them kind of goals. I also have a section for my book of the month because I am reading one book per month and talking about it in a quarterly video on my channel. So I need to recall some information at the drop of a hat and I need to have a section to write things down. So I have that and I will be keeping that for April as well. And then I also have a section for next month. So anything regarding the upcoming month, birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, appointments, travel, whatever goes in this section here. Also continuing on with that in April. I also have my weekly spreads. I will be keeping up with this in April as well. This has been working very, very well for me. I have basically the setup of a Hobonichi Weeks here, but I've done it to where it's like week, 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 and then I go into a daily situation. So for my weeks, I have these boxes here. So I have the date, the day of the week, and weather. And then I have a little box here to have little bullet points about the day so fun things cute things not so good things whatever was memorable about that particular day and a sticker that corresponds with something regarding that information and i've been loving this this is just like daily highlights or low lights i also have a section for expenses tracker package tracker habit tracker and then a fun weekly memory mostly it has to do with me and my husband and like our date nights or something like that um, but these are very important to me and i love having this little space on my weekly spreads as well so like I said, it is the 21st of March. So this is how my week is looking right now, but this is next week. So as you can see, I have like major things written down here, but overall it's very blank and open. And I don't have any habits in here because I normally fill in my habits the Sunday night before I move into the next week, just because I have been kind of chopping and changing in between different habits and what I want to track per week. So I've been leaving it blank, but this is, this is the setup for weeks. Then I get into my daily sections. I have enough space to write down all of my tasks and to-dos for each of the days, as well as like a little blurb about the day and a corresponding 
uh, sticker and I do have each day separated out Monday through Thursday but then I have a weekend section which includes Friday Saturday Sunday because those are the three days a week that I work and getting tasks and to do's done on those days is very few and far between but I do get some stuff done and I like to write some things down so I have that section but I also have sections for each of the three days little blurbs and stickers again corresponding so that's kind of how I've laid that out and obviously this is today and I've also been a little bit more lenient with myself about how I lay these out so as you guys can see on this one for example I have my tasks and to do's and I thought I was pretty much done with all of that stuff and I was writing out my blurb and then other things came up and I wanted to make mention that I had done those things. I've been a little bit more flexible with myself in this notebook than I ever have been in any other bullet journal and I feel like it's added to my success in this notebook of using it consistently and being excited about getting into this on the daily and yeah I've just been loving the uh, the flexibility that I've given myself here so random facts for your day but that is it for the dailies so obviously I need to get through the rest of March and the first three days of April and then I get into April so as you guys can see my cover page is not really a cover page it's just the word April which by the way any of the lettering that I've done I created using this stencil ruler situation this is also what I've been using to draw my straight lines for like my calendars and stuff but this I think I got it off jet pens I'll try to link it down below and anything else that I talk about I'll link it down below but I love the little stencils for the letters it's just been very very helpful for me and i don't have to think about it regarding pens and markers these are the only four things that i used to set this entire month up so i have my inkjoy paper mate inkjoy gel pen in 0.5 this is my daily writing pen and also what i used to write all of my lines for my calendars and weeklies and stuff i have my sakura pigment micron in 005 which i used to outline the letters and then I also have my Zebra Mild Liners. These are very similar yet slightly different colors. However, on the paper they look basically the same in my opinion. So I brought out both of them because they have four different nibs on either end of the pens. So this one has the brush tip as well as a super fine bullet nib. And then this one has the chisel nib and a fine bullet nib on this end as well. So I've also been doing color themes rather than like art themes because it's art is just not my jam. I'm not very good at it and I like the color theme a little bit better and it allows me to use my stickers and it not look super overwhelming and yeah so just been doing color themes. As you guys saw that for March I used green in all of the spreads that I had and I thoroughly enjoyed it so I continued it on for April. Next we have my April calendar spread. I am going to actually be stickering this up with you guys in just a few minutes but this is again my hub for everything going on throughout the month. I have my monthly dashboard. Again sub counts. I added a brain dump section because I've been needing a section for stuff like that. Goals, book which I gave myself more space for and then a section for next month. And then I have my weeklies. Same exact setup, the blocked out days as well as all of my trackers and I have that for all four of the weeks in April and also my dailies for the uh, fourth all the way through to the end of April. So that's that. I am going to do some stickering now and to do that for my bills I've been using these stickers from Caffeine and Paper Co. They are from her itty bitty minimal collection line and they are on a clear matte sticker paper so I've been using all of these to mark my bills and then for any holidays or anniversaries or birthdays or whatever I use these stickers in my reusable sticker book. I have a plethora of different shops in here. I've got Caffeine and Paper Co. Virgo and Paper, Coffee Monsters Co., uh, Ari Bea, all of that. Most of the time I use my uh, Coffee Monsters Co. emojis because they're just so cute and I'm obsessed with them. So that is mostly where I pull stickers from, but I will be using this for things like Easter and Earth Day and 
whatever else. So I'm going to do that now. I'll check in with you guys when I'm all done. Alrighty guys, so that is all the stickering that I am going to be doing. As I said, I just like to do some stickering on my monthly calendar and then as I move into my weeklies, I'll add stickers as I see fit. Um, but overall, this is, you know, kind of the, uh, the plan for the month so far. So I've got all my bill due dates, my nail appointment, my YouTube uploads, and then Easter Sunday and Earth Day. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below. Ring the little bell icon if you wanna be notified every time I post, which is every Wednesday. And yeah, I will leave all links to channels and items that I mentioned down in the description box. So keep an eye out for that. And yes, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you all so, so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.